Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be going through a quick video on how you can install Suricata. At least we'll be exploring one of the several ways in which you can install Suricata. The best place to start for information about Suricata in general is the documentation, which you can find at suricata.readthedocs.io. Here you'll see that the Suricata user guide is broken down into several sections. We're going to be focusing on section three, which is the installation. Now you have a couple of primary options for installing Suri. The first one is installing from source, which we're not going to cover today. That would require you to actually get the source code from Suricata and build it. The next, and probably one of the easiest, is to install from binary packages. You can see by expanding that part of the documentation, we have a few options here. We have Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and Red Hat CentOS. We're going to actually start with Ubuntu. And the version of Ubuntu that I'm recording this on is Ubuntu 20.0.4 LTS. Now, the installation on Ubuntu is actually quite straightforward. There's only three commands that we have to run. We have to add the repository for the PPA, the Personal Package Archive. Then we need to update the repositories before we can finally install Suricata. The reason that we're going to use a PPA is because the OISF, that is the Open Information Security Foundation, the foundation that supports the Suricata project, this is the recommended way in order to get the latest stable version. To help avoid typos, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that first command into my clipboard, and then we'll go ahead and we'll move over to a terminal. From there, we can paste that command in and hit enter. You may be prompted for your administrative password, and after that, you'll get options here to add this PPA to your package manager. In this case, we can just hit enter to continue, that we do in fact want to add this PPA. The next command that we're going to run is to update the repositories. This does not install any software, nor does it upgrade any software. It just simply updates package information from all of your configured sources. And since we just added essentially a new source, we want to make sure that all package information is up to date. You may get a notice that packages can be upgraded. That's okay to ignore for right now. The final step is to install Suricata. And we can do that by typing in sudo apt install suricata. Finally, we can accept or hit Y to continue. And then this will go through a relatively quick installation process. Once we are done, we can confirm that we have suricata installed. And we can do that by running the suricata command space dash capital V. This will give you the information about the version of Suricata that you've just installed. So here we can see in this video that we've installed Suricata version 6.0.1. Installing Suricata is just the first step, and there's a lot we can do with it from here. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel in order to find other videos to help you monitor network traffic, process PCAPs, update your rule sets, and other topics that we'll explore to help you maximize your Suricata usage.